Welcome back everyone, it's Lionheart84, um, it's the evening of the 19th of February and this is the second part of my Relinia seed germination attempt video. <coughs> now I've been soaking the seeds for about two and a half days now and it's kind of looking quite promising because um, there's one floating but the other seeds have sunk and normally when seeds sink, I mean, when I put it, use uh, normal, when I've germinated custard apple seeds before and they're fresh from a fruit, they sink straight away. But these seeds were very, um, a very light brown and they've been probably dehydrated, I would say, for at least, uh, probably at least seven or eight months. So where they've been soaking in warm water for a few days, you can now see that they're a nice dark, uh, dark brown colour. Um, which I hope means they're going to be, at least some of them will be viable. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to plant three in each of these two green pots and I'm going to try one seed with the damp tissue methods which I'm going to put in this box and we'll see what happens. Now <clears throat> people always ask which way you should plant seeds and to be honest I don't really know the answer with these ones so what I've decided to do is to plant three seeds on edge in the uh, in the pots and I'm going to put three seeds flat in the second one of the two pots and we'll see if any of them germinate and if it makes any difference so those are my three on edge I and mean, can't really well see you can't see them in there unfortunately but uh, Trust me, I've put them on edge, and the three in the other pot, I've put the seeds flat. You can just about see them there. So what I'm going to do is cover the seeds with a good, uh, probably half an inch to an inch of soil. Because <clears throat> I figure that should be enough. I had this soil mixed up already. This is basically just a seed compost and I've added some perlite to it for extra drainage but that will also, um, should also uh, retain some moisture as well. <clears throat> so that's about, that's a good half an inch to an inch of soil on both the seeds. It should be uh, more than enough. Now all we need to do is give these a good watering. my keenness to put them in. I've now forgotten which pot was had the flat seeds and which had the seeds on edge. Not very clever of me really so I'll just investigate this pot here. See if I can spot the seeds. Okay they're the seeds that are flat. <coughs> so what I've done is I've just written on there Relinear Flat <coughs> and this one is going to be Relinear Edge. Probably going to read back to France on the video. So I should push those down flat. Now, let's keep the moisture in. I'm going to take some good old fashioned, uh, what do you call it, cling wrap here or cling film, food wrap, anything along those lines, or even any clear polythene will do. So Put some on each pot. Let's keep it in place. Got an elastic band. Do the same for the second one. And that will keep the humidity nice and high. Keep the moisture in the pot. Save me having to re-water it a 
again should last for a long time. Now, <coughs> the I've got one seed left, which I'm going to try in the damp tissue method. To be honest, this seed doesn't look <coughs> doesn't really look viable anyway. So I'm not overly optimistic of anything happening, but nevertheless, we'll try and see. So I'm going to get some wet tissue and pack that in this little plastic container. Put the seed in there. Close that down and seed it in the pot. So that's my little planting done for the moment. So I'm just going to uh, stop the video for a second, uh, pause it for a second, and move to the propagator. Okay, so I've now proper I've now moved the pots to my um, propagator. Now uh, I've had this for about <laughs> must be at least 30, 35 years, and this is uh, a heated propagator it's just got a lightly heated base on it now unfortunately the lid probably got broken about 25 years ago hence the reason for covering the seeds in cling film if it had had a lid on it then there wouldn't have been any need to cover the seeds as they would have kept damp anyway now obviously i've got a cold climate and i'm starting the seeds in february so hence the reason for a lightly heated propagator now i realize not everybody's going to have one but uh, I had a quick look on Amazon and eBay and actually you can get a small heated propagator for about £20, so probably about $25. So there are plenty available, but your other option is to, um, <clears throat> your other option would be if you're in a warm climate, you could obviously just put them on a windowsill with uh, plastic over them, probably warm enough. Um, and even here, if it was June or July, I'd be happy to germinate the seeds without any heat at all. You could also put them in something like an airing cupboard with a, uh, you know, that's got a boiler or hot water tank in it. Although you have to bear in mind that you'll need to check the seeds every two or three days because obviously that cupboard's going to be dark and once they've germinated, you need to bring them out into the light. So basically I've got two pots with three seeds in um and then i've got this little plastic pot down here which has got the damp tissue in the seed didn't look very viable to me it looked like it might have been hollow and i think it was the seed that was uh, floating so i'm going to have a guess that uh, it's not going to be successful but <coughs> oh excuse me we'll look over the next three or four weeks and see um see if anything uh, appears it probably should take about four weeks to germinate if the seeds are alive and if uh, if we have a complete failure then i guess i can try and get some uh, fresh seeds from another supplier and try again because i would like to see if i could germinate a couple of uh, relinias right next to them here i've actually got uh, that that one there is a cherimoya and those were only sowing at i think the beginning of january so they're already doing quite well got a couple of lychees in there and a couple of mangoes I've grown from uh, seed is actually a new leaf on that mango so um, anyway I'll keep you updated I don't know if there'll be any progress but I'm um, fingers crossed that something will happen in the next uh, month or six weeks and as soon as it does I'll uh, do you an update thank you for watching